Today we're going to be making a stealthy tic tac blaster that fits inside a tic tac box. Let's get started. I've seen a couple of tic tac blasters online and they would always use the tic tac box as a magazine but the blaster would be a separate much larger thing and I would look at that stuff and wonder what if it was inside the tic tac box instead. Just the same way I look at the crocs on my feet and wonder what if they were inside me instead. But anyway with burning curiosity in my heart and a lightning mcqueen croc in my ass I started measuring the dimensions of a regular tic tac box to see see how big of a blaster mechanism I can fit inside it while still leaving some room for the tic tacs so that it looks like a regular box of tic tacs from a distance or even up close if you're blind. After this we have two main problems to solve now. The first one being the actual shooting mechanism itself and the second one being a reload system for the blaster. I decided to work on the shooting mechanism first because otherwise what the fuck would I even reload? And I quickly learned that there are two main options that I could go with. The first is a trigger actuated mechanism where a spring would be compressed to store mechanical energy and pulling the trigger would just release it, kinda like airsoft. And the second option is a much simpler spring-loaded slingshot kind of a design where there would not be an actual trigger but a slider that you pull back and release to shoot a tic-tac. Now wait, before you start yelling do the trigger mechanism you lazy unemployed balloon animal, I need you to understand this. I'm about as good at mechanical design as I am at doing cartwheels which is to say very very good but for your sake and only because of that reason I wanted to keep it simple so I decided to go with the spring loaded slingshot design. Here's what it looks like. There's a barrel and in that barrel is stuff. By stuff I mean a freshly harvested clicky pen spring. Don't worry the pen did not feel a thing and also a I don't know what this is called but it's a thing and this thing is attached to the spring on its backside so when you pull it back it compresses the spring and when you release it it, it moves forward really fast and shoots the tic tac out of the barrel. Also this fits inside the tic tac box in such a way that the open end of the barrel aligns perfectly with the hole in the box which is great because it would have been a really shitty video if I had made a tic tac blaster with tic tacs in it but no way for them to come out of it. I think I just described what a vasectomy is. But anyway keep in mind you need to cut a couple of rectangular pieces out of the tic tac box like this for the slider thing and for that I recommend using wire cutters instead of an exact a knife because it's much safer to do it this way but hey if you think having as many fingers as that platform from harry potter is cool then be my guest let's test it now this should give us an idea about the blaster's performance Okay, so maybe it's not as powerful as a 9mm Glock, but I think it's got a great personality, so I love it anyway. I did run into one annoying issue that I wanted to talk about. It's the occasional sticking of the slider in the barrel, and the reason for that is basically how 3D printing works, because layer lines cause extra friction. If I had the patience for it, or stable hands like my dead grandmother, just to be clear her hands were just as stable even when she was alive, maybe I could have uniformly sanded the barrels in insides and avoided this problem altogether but for now we're gonna use this to temporarily fix it. It's called PTFE spray. It's basically lube but not that kind of lube so please for the love of god do not put this on your snickers bar unless you want your penis to become hydrophobic. Don't ask me why I know that. But this thing is basically teflon in a can. Yes the same teflon used in non-stick frying pans. It'll decrease the friction inside the barrel thus allowing the slider to move more freely but since this a temporary fix, we'll come back to this issue with a more permanent solution in a bit. Okay wait, I couldn't help but notice that you have a nose. Sir, do you have a permit for that? Because there's a $6 fine for concealed carrying boogers without a permit. It's it's okay if you don't have a permit, don't panic. I'm willing to not inform the authorities if you like and subscribe right now, so I'd highly recommend doing that. Do it. Now back to the video. Okay, now that the blaster mechanism is done, the next problem is to figure out how it's gonna reload. Thanks to a childhood full of lies and deception, my first instinct was to try pressing the R button on everything I own, and that did absolutely fuck all. After this brutal reality check, I started thinking of other solutions but nothing made sense because by design, all tic tacs in a tic tac box are in random orientations, so I can't really do a magazine thing because if you have to take the whole thing apart and manually 
manually feed Tic Tacs into the mag every five rounds, it would suck ass. It would be like if you took all of your clothes off every time you wanted to put your phone in your pants pocket. Excluding me, I only know like two people who do that. It's stupid. Because of this issue, I had to be clever about it and rely a little bit on geometry. And using that, I came up with this. It sits about one Tic Tac's width away from the side of the box, and if you shake the box with your hand, or fall down a flight of stairs with the box in your pocket, whichever's more convenient for you, it feeds one Tic Tac into the barrel and voila, you've successfully reloaded. At least that's how it's supposed to work in theory. Okay, while I was prototyping this, something interesting happened. PCBWay reached out and offered to partner up for this video and help me out with their 3D printing services, and I thought that, okay, I know that there are two issues that I've been running into with this project, the first one being my design skills or lack thereof. Unfortunately, there wasn't much they could do about that, but they were able to help me out with my second issue, which was that because of layer lines, even at a really small layer height, I just wasn't able to get the barrel of the blaster to be smooth enough to not jam every now and then. So I looked at their offered materials and found out about this UTR 3000 thing, which is basically a material that they describe as smooth enough for producing anime figurines. I describe it as smooth enough to be mistaken for the average Joe Rogan listener's brain, but you know, potato tomato. Either way, that's exactly what I needed for this project. I also ordered a translucent version from PCBWay just because it looked really cool, and I wanted to show you guys how the mechanism works visually. This is what I would call the definitive version of my Tic Tac Blaster mechanism. I've been playing around with it for a bit and you literally can't feel like it's 3D printed. The trigger's like butter. If you want to check out PCBWay and their services, I put a link in the description. Okay, now that we have everything we need, let's assemble the whole thing. So this is the final product. I also created a montage of me testing its blasting capabilities and the reload mechanism. But before I show it to you, I wanted to tell you that I have a Patreon where I provided the 3D print files for the Tic Tac Blaster and all of my other projects for absolutely free. Link in the description. Okay, now here's the montage. Now that we've built the actual thing and we know it works, there are a couple of things that I need to mention about this so that I don't end up in prison. Number one, since this blaster still doubles as a regular Tic Tac box, you can use the reload mechanism to just dispense Tic Tacs as well like this. But unfortunately, you cannot eat them because resin is toxic. And if you consume resin, your nipples will start to look like this. Look at what eating resin did to this healthy, once beautiful man. Resin, not even once. Number two, even though you can technically use metal ball bearings instead of Tic Tacs and a more powerful spring with this blaster, I don't recommend doing that because in my experience metal ball bearings are not nearly as tasty as Tic Tacs. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna make one of these for yourself and publicly expose yourself as the danger to society that you are. And please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. I highly recommend watching this video next. Next, I think you're gonna like it. See you later. Bye. You and I, we are so random. You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom. I ignore the fact that this will never last.